tires are cold and restless And his wounds have almost healed And she give half of Texas Just to change the way he feels and She knows his love's in Tulsa And she knows he's gonna go Well it ain't no woman, flesh and blood It's that damn old rodeo It's bulls and blood, it's the dust and mud It's the roar of a Sunday crowd it's the wine in his knuckles, the gold in the buckle, he'll win the next go round. It's boots and chaps, it's cowboy hats, it's spurs and let it go. It's the ropes and the reins and the joy and the pain, and they call the thing a rodeo. Folks, we're back with another video. Today I want to talk about the MTH subway set. I just got this. So let's go over the two types of cars again. We got four cars. Powered and dummy. Dummy cars are pretty basic. Um, not very different. Um, this one, I did take the handrails off because they were getting broken. Here's what uh, they actually look like. Same thing with the back of this. Um, here's the powered car. Um, it has blooded out windows. It's pretty heavy. I do recommend these. So here's the startup and stuff. Um, <coughs> it's this one. Now, seeing as the cars the Razor Train um, carries are the only ones it ever does, I'll just briefly cover them in this so, photo section. They're pretty and don't so, seem to be based on any when you go to three. This is Starna. And 10 engines. And four lights and backwards lights. This is one. This is two. Three. This is nothing. And four. Next stop. 100.9 Street, Grand Concourse. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 do nothing. Well, 10 is left. So, uh, we'll get this thing working. I'm sorry, uh, my soul is very rest to my station. It does take a long time to stop, so... Uh, oh. Um, but yeah, it does take a while to stop. So let's go. The GP40 was built between 1965 and 1971, while the GP60 the most glaring difference with the model is the oversized crane and wheels and then the tiny crew windows and massive vent on the side. The locomotive might have been cut from the game as Valve had to fit the scene of the design of the European rail cars, but otherwise... I do recommend this if you're, um, someone who models in New York or someone who wants a basic passenger train. This is definitely something you should get your hands on. It's beautiful. It's just great. It looks great, um, but yeah, this is it at full speed. Alright, and beautiful stop, 
them just actually just pull us into the station with some Um. Uh, there's no real difference between cars, um, besides weight, um, detail, I would say, probably, uh, 8 out of 10, um, actually, I have the turntable, I could do a round view, I'll be back. Back. Um, I'm not gonna do the powered car because the cars are basically the same. Uh, this is on a little bit of a slant. Um, but anyway, so here we got the. That's the whole thing, and I'll see you later. Bye for now.